Old man born in Mexico but raised in Albuquerque is back where he grew up after signing with New Mexico United. But as Action 7's Brandon Evans shows us, the road to success has been anything but easy. He's live outside at Isotopes Park with a story. Brandon. Well, Kaylin, it was a season where fans lost the chance to watch their favorite soccer team play home games in their home state. But with a bunch of new player signings, there is some hope for United fans for the 2021 season. One of those signings, Sergio Rivas. And for him, this is really a celebration of all the obstacles that he's overcome. Never give up. <laughs> I know it's easier said than done. It sounds cliche, but you know, if you put it in your brain not to give up, you won't. Sergio Rivas moved to the Duke City from Mexico when he was seven and eventually qualified for DACA, a federal protection for eligible immigrants. The soccer star would go on to earn a college scholarship and was taken in the second round of the MLS draft. However, he never got to play because of roster limits on international players, but he never let those challenges get him down. I can't control if they're going to keep DACA or not. I can't control if they're gonna kick me out of the country or not. And I can't control if I'm gonna be able to work. But as of right now, I'm able to work. I'm able to provide for myself and I'm able to be a voice for people. And Sergio Rivas delivers. Rivas first landed in Reno playing in the USL, but he's now back in the town he grew up after signing with New Mexico United. And he wants others to learn from his success story. You can't control what the government does. You can't control what the president does. You can't control what you know, congressmen are doing. You can't control that. What you can control is yourself and how, how you're preparing yourself for the future. Justin Sells coached Rivas for nine years. He was nearly at a loss for words today when asked about his former player. So much, like he'll, he'll never know. Like I'm so proud of him. Like from seeing him as a 11 year old to stay the path and just do so much positive stuff in his life already. It's it's inspiring. Arivas tells me his fingers are still crossed that they will be able to play home matches here this summer at some point saying he wants to bring a championship to New Mexico. Live outside Isotopes Park, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News. Hey, a championship. We like the sound of that. Brandon, thank you.